Alright, what's going on everybody and welcome back to Back to the Future, episode 5, the final episode. It's finally here, and hopefully it's going to be good. So, are we going to get a previously? Hold up, wait a second. Out of time. Which of course is the license plate on the DeLorean. Haha. <laughs> Boy, what do we got here? Rain waves and you. American psychiatry or something? Mm -hmm. Though, Marty is fast asleep. Directed by Dennis Lennon. Whoa. What's going on? Hello? Marty! You're awake! Good! Uh, uh, Emmett, uh, where are you? I'm down at the expo. I snuck out early to avoid my pop. If he knew I was about to make a publicly scientific spectacle of myself, he'd hit the roof. Okay, um, you... Ah, uh, you let me sleep in? you wake me up? I tried to give you a nudge before I left, but you were practically comatose. Oh, wow. Well. Aside from being knocked unconscious, I'm not really sure. Anyway, I left you back in the lab to perform an important mission. On the table next to my law books, there's a device plugged into the wall. I, uh, yes. I think I see it. Is it glowing? Yeah. Uh, yep. Is that good? Good. It's fantastic. Glowing means my static accumulator is charged up and ready for action. Bring it down to the high school and we'll... Damn. What? It's Edna. But... Oh crap. Okay, Emmett. One static accumulator coming up. So now we gotta stop Edna. It would seem. Hmm. I wonder what's going on. I do wonder what's going on. Whoa. Jeez, Doc. Watch out. You almost ran me over. Sorry about that, Mark. This vehicle is sometimes difficult to control. Uh, yeah. Hey, are you okay? After that argument about Emmett last night, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Um, where have you been? Where have you been all night? I've been driving around, meeting up old friends, thinking things over. Okay. So is that what I'm destined to build for the expo? Yeah, it's a static accumulator. Emmett spent all night building it. Turned out he didn't really need to see Frankenstein after all. He just needed a little push. And and some lightning. Fascinating. I also had an epiphany last night. Doc? I realized that it wasn't Edna that made my life miserable. Doc? It was science. Um... Ah, uh, shit, shit, shit. Science. You love science. Correction. My younger self loves science, but if Emmett doesn't go through with a demonstration at the expo, his dreams of being a scientist will dip just enough for Edna to step back into his life and steer him down another path. Um, another path? Another path? What other path? I don't know. Architecture, automobile repair, taxidermy. Maybe I'll even pursue a life in law like my father always wanted. As long as Emmett steers clear of science, Edna and I will be free to be happy together. Um, Emmett can't go back to Come Edna. Come on, Emmett, back with Edna. She used you to turn Hill Valley into a police state. She used my science to turn Hill Valley into a police state. But if I don't become a scientist, she'll never get the chance to vent her crazier ambitions. Doc, I'm begging you. You haven't thought this through. How can I? I guess we'll both find out. One thing's for sure, Emmett Brown's life will be a whole lot less complicated without a time machine in it. No! Ah. Oh god, what's happening? What's happening? What the hell? Did it just levitate? Where'd it go? Is it in the tree? It's in the tree, isn't it? What? Why can't I? What? It's not in the tree, apparently. Um, why can't I walk around? Thank you. There it is. What the hell? Oh, come on. 
Are we playing fetch with a something something accumulator? Okay, this is so fucked up. This is not physically possible, is it? Or am I is my pea brain sized pea brain sized pea sized brain not smart enough to realize that we'll climb the lamppost then. Am I just too I can't reach it. You could ah, oh, it was right there. Grab it. Oh, you're flying. Whoa, who needs a hoverboard? What happened? Am I dead? Am I really dead now? That is the question. Doubt it, but ooh, hello. Cue ball. Oh, wow. Enlightenment under the sea. allowed to have secrets you know all right all right say don't you have to get that whatchamacallit to emmett brown's booth huh oh uh, yeah right so where is emmett's booth anyway Well, you can say what you want to. Trixie's got the singing voice. No doubt about it. So, I'm guessing it's up here. Electromagnetic... Oh, God. No doubt he'll try to talk you out of it, Detective. But you mustn't let your resolution waver. Hello, Callahan. Um... What are you doing? What's going on here? Well, uh, Miss Strickland here seems to think... Uh... You should step aside and let the officer do his duty. Now. Excuse me. Wait a minute, that's Emmett's levitator up there. What's the problem? Oh, don't be so modest. I'd say you deserve at least half the credit. It was you who tricked poor Emmett into breaking up with me. It was you who manipulated him into dropping my project in favor of this clear hazard to public safety. Um. Emmett chose his own Electrokinetic levitator was Emmett's idea. I just Electrokinetic levitator. Oh, I think you know exactly Say what that three times fast. Emmett's invention isn't going to work, is it? At least not the way poor Emmett thinks it is. How do you know this? I had a very interesting chat with Carl Sagan last night. I found out who Harry Callahan really is. And where he comes from. Is there something you want to tell me, Harry? Why don't you call him by his real name? Yakov Shmirnov. Ah, uh, excuse me. An anarchist, a foreign agitator bent on sowing chaos and destruction in the Hill Valley Expo. Annie, you don't believe any of this bullshit, do you? Sorry, uh, Yakov, but I really don't have a choice. Very good. And now, arrest this subversive. You have no factual proof. Come here. Look, here's the thing. I happen to believe this dame's got a screw loose. But she's been getting some clout in town ever since that business with Kid Tannen. But Emmett's gotta fly that electrokinetic levitator at this demo. His whole future depends on it. And my future depends on making sure he doesn't. The chief reads her calling religiously. Well, if I don't do what she says, she's gonna start a campaign to have certain tainted officers removed from the force. Isn't there anything I can do? Not unless you've got some dirt on Edna. Something that'll discredit her in the eyes of the law. Hmm. Well, I'll dig something up. You do that. In the meantime, you and young Mr. Brown better. Uh, where is he anyway? Wait, no you clue. Seen him? Emmett? 
Has this foreign radical done something to my Emmett? Maybe you should find him. Oh, you're letting him go? This radical subversive? Just like that? Where could... Okay, is he in the so tent? I gotta find Maybe. Emmett. Where could he and do be? About Edna. Is he, I'm, I'm guessing he would be in... No? Okay. Emmett's gonna fly his electrokinetic levitator and he's gonna do it today. It's quite impressive how we build everything like this. I, I could ask Trixie if she's seen him. Excuse me, Trixie. Hi, Trixie. That's Techni to you, kiddo. Techni. Right. Uh, congratulations on getting the old job back. Thanks. Justice triumphs in the end, you know. Now, what can I do you for? Um, where's Emmett? You seen Emmett around? I'm kind of worried that he's not at his booth. Hmm, let me think. Uh, yeah. He wandered down that way a little while ago. He was talking real intense with another guy. Older guy? Looked a lot like Emmett in the face? Yeah. Uncle or something? Or something. Hmm. Um. Edna got Emmett's booth shut down. Yeah. Edna Strickland is trying to get Emmett's booth shut down. That dame don't know how to mind her own business, does she? Do you happen to have some dirt on her? Is there anything you can do to get Emmett's booth open again? I wish there was, but I'm just amused. All we can do is inspire people. Hmm. Look, can you... Emmett's demonstration has hit a snag or two. Can you delay his act for a while? Let someone else go before him? Sorry, I don't set the roster and they won't let me change it. Uh, I can drag my feet ah. a little, but uh, if your friend's not ready to go on pretty soon, you might have to skip his act. Uh, I mean, demonstration. You can't. Crap. Hey, it's just a science demo. It ain't a matter of life and death. Inspire me, Muse. Okay, you're a Muse. Can you inspire me an idea? I'll try. Well? Maybe it doesn't take effect right away. Hmm, I didn't hear anything. Uh, how'd you get the job back? How you managed to get your old job back. He did? But it was supposed to be a secret. There's no secrets between us. He couldn't resist telling such a good story. Yeah? Still, I'd like to hear it again, uh, from your point of view. Well, he didn't tell you anything. Crap. <laughs> She's smart. Come on. Trixie, I'm dying to know how you got the job back. You won't hear it from me. I don't talk out of turn. Ugh. Okay, anyway, I'm gone. That's Gotta find Emmett. Happy to help. He walked down a straight path right over here, apparently, with an old and guy. Under the sea. Hostile guy. There are no zombies. Wait a minute. You're the guy that makes the algae cakes? But I thought you couldn't stand them. Hey! You're the guy that tried to pick up on my units! Oh, Eunice? Love of no algae cakes for you, Mustard. Well, Jesus, you are definitely a hostile gal. G gal? <laughs> Guy. Wow. So, where would Emmett be? I'm guessing I have to go past Strick uh, Strickland and, um, and Parker. That would be the only logical way. Excuse me. He's coming back. What? Hey, Danny, could I have a word with you? Comrade Shmirnov, come to turn yourself in. Wow, you Private are a with pleasure. B I T C H. Um, have you Any seen idea where Emmett is? Well, he was working over by his booth, but by the time Edna got done haranguing me, he was gone. I hope he comes back soon so we can get this mess cleared up. Um. I got some you dirt on Edna. You said you defy Edna if I could dig up some dirt on her. Yeah, you got some. She and Carl Sagan were whispering about something. She had my dad beat up. Uh, she tried to reprogram. Wow. Okay. I saw her whispering about something with Carl Sagan outside the expo yesterday. Do you know what they were whispering about? No, but she looked really guilty. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna work. Than that, I'm afraid. Ah, uh, well, I'm uh, looking Thanks. around. I'll be back. Well, I hope so. You've got to get this albatross off my neck. I'll try. Did you put the screws to him? Did he confess? 
Edna. He's approaching. Danny, oh. can I talk to Edna for a minute? Be my guest. I'd like a couple minutes of quiet. Oh, you said it. You What's said it. About? Where's Emmett? What do you do with Emmett, Edna? What are you talking about? You're the one who's trying to ruin his life. Believe it or not, I'm the one trying to save it. From what? You. you mostly. You must know you where Emmett is. You don't know where Emmett is? I haven't the foggiest. If he's smart, he's run far away from whatever dangerous shenanigans you talked him into person. Oh, shenanigans. Such a good word. But you broke up with him. Why'd you shut down? Why'd you shut down Emmett? I've got uh, the goods on you. Where's Carl Sagan? Is Mr. Sagan around here anywhere? No, and I wouldn't tell you if I had. He's more than a little scared of your anarchistic tendencies. Mm. Hmm. Trixie's back on the saddle. Trixie Trotter got her old job back. Oh, I know. I tried to have it out with Arthur McFly, but he refuses to explain himself. Apparently, he discovered some sort of loophole that allows that Canadian to retain her position. Hey. Well, Canadians are good people. Society shall hear about this. Make no mistake. Um, I've got the goods on you. I know your deep, dark secret. Secret? What secret? Rhymes with which? Is that? Oh yeah, you've been working for Kid Tannen. Like you wanted to put Kid Tannen away when all the time you were working for him. Oh, how preposterous! Preposterous. Um, I've got the goods on you. I know your deep, dark secret. Mm hmm. You're a thief. Those charities you were working for, they were all just a front. Uh, so you could wriggle your way into those orphanages and. And steal their piggy banks. Right. Mm. I know your deep, dark secret. I'm guessing there's not something. It rhymes with which. Manipulative and power hungry. Oh. In the service of a higher cause, one sometimes has to stoop to low tactics. But I'm sure you already know that, Comrade Yakov. Wow, I just realized I why it said that. It rhymes with witch. Are you whispering no. with Carl? Whispering about with Carl Sagan yesterday. You overheard? Oh sure yeah. And you did a really lousy job at uh, burying the body. Oh, you ah. didn't hear a thing. What I was talking about with Carl Sagan is between me and Carl Sagan. Snikes. Okay, this is pointless. I'll <sighs> find Emmett. Stay yes. away from him, you anarchist hooligan. Well, gee, thank you. Well, it does seem like we gotta find Emmett, the older version, Doc Brown, in order to get the secrets about her past. I'm not sure, but that's gonna happen next time. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you guys around next time. We'll get to play some more Back to the Future, episode 5, the final episode. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.